Hi, it's Gordon here at Averlight, and I'm going to talk you through some of the user settings that you can find inside Titan. We've got many settings when it comes to playbacks and when it comes to palettes. The user settings are all about how you work with the console. Because I'm on this Titan Go interface, I can go into system. But if you're on a console, you can hold down the Averlight's button and you can press soft key C. Soft key C will get you into the user settings workspace window. At the top of the screen, I can change what user is currently working there and I can add a new one. To add a new user, I can tap add user, enter a name for it and tap OK. Now every single one of these changes that you can see down the left hand side and down the center of the screen are going to get saved inside my show file. There are many settings here that can change how you work with the console, so spending some time to get familiar with them is very important. If you ever want to know what a user setting does, you can tap one of these icons next to the setting for an explanation. Here you can see it specifies whether the Grandmaster fader should be enabled or disabled on consoles with a dedicated Grandmaster. So this applies to things like the Tiger Touch 2 and the Arena console. I can flip that setting to enabled and now saved within my show is the fact that I always want that Grandmaster fader enabled. If you always like your buttons to be a larger size rather than the normal size that's default inside Titan, you can select large. If you're on a console such as a Titan Mobile or ones with a smaller fader count, you can choose never hold. This is quite a popular option because it means that if I move this playback on fader 3, I can see that something is firing on this fader, but I'm currently on the next page, which allows me to also fire this playback and also fire this one should I wish. Now if I need to turn this off, I can go to that page and turn it down. And the same as before. I can bring that up, turn that down again. I can load a default key profile into the user that I'm currently working with. Maybe for my particular user, I don't want the program key profile. I want to have a look, choose my nightclub. Now every time I change my current user and select Gordon, it's gonna load this key, pr key profile for me. Some people don't like that in the fixtures window, it always shows the addresses, so I could change it to hide. Sometimes the groups that Titan creates might not be relevant to the show that you're making. So you can change the user setting of auto groups to off. You can make preset palettes appear on workspaces or not. You can also choose whether you deal in seconds or beats per minute. There's many, many user settings in here and taking some time to get used to them is the best way. I can choose right down to what the LEDs do on the console, the sensitivity of the encoder wheels. This option often confuses a few people. By default, when you press the fan button on your console, it will turn it on. And when you press it again, it will turn it off. If this becomes an issue for you, you can change this switch. And now this means that fan will only work when you're pressing and holding that button down. Take your time to get used to them. Remember that you can always add another user and add another user and add another user and change them because they're always going to be safely stored inside your show file. Thanks for watching and tune in to the next one.